Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we created this uh, project in my local machine and also I added this in the GitHub repository and I'm going to use this repository of uh, this project in my VPS. Okay, so we're going to create the same application in uh, code with Tony.dev. So first I'm going to open here the welcome. I have added here the app CSS and have added also here just welcome as you can see so welcome to code with Tony I'm going to say here and let's save if I come here and refresh now we have welcome to code with Tony and I'm going to open the warp terminal and in here I'm going to add git add git commit and I'm going to say test for and git push Okay, now our GitHub repository is up to date. And let's open a new tab. And in here, I'm going to SSS to my uh, VPS. Okay, here I am. And the first thing I want to show you is I have installed the composer. And I have here. And you can do that by just going to getcomposer.org or by saying curl. I'm going to show you the command dash s uppercase s and HTTP as this command so pause the video type this command and hit enter and then also we need to move the composer part to slash so let's say sudo move composer dot far to slash user slash local slash bin slash composer and after you hit enter also in this time you have the composer in your vps account after the composer now i'm going to cd in a slash var www and here we have if i say less we have the code with tony and in this code with tony we have the index html which uh, right now if i open the code with tony we have this hello from PHP there. Okay. Now, if we want, we can move the repository so the Laravel project in this directory, or I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to say sudo make directory Laravel, and I'm going to add also the password because we have run sudo command. And now if I say ls, we have also the Laravel here and I'm going to say uh, sudo change ownership Tony the user colon www-data and the Laravel director so I change the ownership and I'm going to hit enter okay now I'm going to cd back one level and here I'm going to make a directory called a uh, repo so sudo make directory repo here and i'm going to cd in repo and also in here i'm going to say sudo make directory site.git and i'm going to cd in site.git and here now i want to initialize an empty repository but we need git to have in our machine and right now i don't have git and let's install git but before that i have told you is always a good practice to run sudo apt update before any before we install any program okay so after sudo apt update i'm going to say sudo apt install git hit enter hit enter again and we are okay now we have git in our uh, vps let's say sudo git init dash dash bar hit enter and now as you can see is initialized an empty git repository in this slash var slash repo slash site dot git very good if i say ls in here we have some uh, folders uh, i'm going to navigate the hooks directory so let's say so cd in the hooks and here I'm going to create a post receive. So if I say ls, we have some files. 
so so sample files but i'm going to say sudo vi post dash receive hit enter i'm going to hit i to be in the insert mode and here i'm going to paste this command now here we have git dash dash work dash tree to be able with slash bar slash ww slash code with tony solo directory we want to move the laravel project but i'm going to change that to be uh laravel i'm going to say escape colon wq and let's clean this and let's give some permissions and ownership also here so i'm going to say sudo change mode plus x the post dash receive and i'm going to hit enter and also sudo change ownership dash r uppercase tony colon tony slash var slash repo slash site dot git and i'm going to hit enter if I say uh, cd back, then if I say one more time back here and just say ls dash l, yeah, we have this site.git and the owner is Tony and the group is Tony. So the user Tony has read, write, execute, read, execute for the group Tony and read, execute for others. Okay, now let's go up here. And I'm going to say first, I'm going to say eval SSS agent. Okay. And also SSH at ID underscore RSA. Now, if you have a different name, you can put your different name. This is the SSH uh, key we have added also in our uh, GitHub and also in our hosting there. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter add the fast phrase and now we are okay good after this one i'm going to say git remote add production tony at the ip of our vps colon slash var slash repo slash site dot git okay this uh, directory we have created here and i'm going to hit enter very good and now if i say git push the production hit enter very good everything works let's go up here so i'm going to say cd and now cd so slash bar slash www cd to laravel if i say ls here as you can see we have our laravel project in here very good now i'm going to add some commands here to change the ownership so sudo change ownership dash R colon www dash data for Laravel sudo change mode dash R group and user the write storage because we are in the slash Laravel okay sudo change mode dash R group user others plus the write and also for the bootstrap cache the same thing very good okay now we have composer installed so let's say composer install dash dash no dash dev hit enter then i'm going to copy the dot because if i say ls dash l sorry the l a also to see the hidden files and we have this dot env file dot env dot example now let's copy this so cp dot env dot example dot dot env and now let's modify this dot env file so i'm going to say sudo y dot env file i'm going to hit the password and first i'm going to hit i to be in the insert mode and i'm going to change the app name not laravel but i'm going to say code with tony the app environment is going to be production or we can say local for now i will we can change later also here i'm going to say https and it's going to be not local host but code with tony.dev then go to mysql and change the database in my case 
is Tony, the database. Also, the user is Tony and the password is Tony. I'm going to hit escape colon WQ. Let's clean and let's run the PHP artisan key generate. Hit enter. Okay. Now let's say PHP artisan. Uh, I'm going to say migrate. Very good. Then I'm going to say uh, PHP artisan config cache PHP artisan config colon clear also view clear and so I think we are okay now let's call CD and here I'm with a CD because right now if I come here and refresh nothing is going to change we need to navigate a slash uh, ATC slash nginx slash uh, sites available and here we have this uh, code with tony.conf and we need to modify that so let's say sudo y code with tony.conf and here on the root we have a slash var slash www slash code with tony so the directory is going to, to look for files and let's change that let's hit i to be in the insert mode and let's change from code with Tony to be Laravel and also we need to add the public directory and hit escape colon wq and also we need to say sudo systemctl reload the nginx and now if I come here and refresh yeah we need also with manifest not found we need also to have a install a uh, node.js so let me open a new tab and let's say node.js go to download or via yeah, package manager and here we have nvm i'm going to choose nvm go to, in to install nvm use this install script i'm going to click there and i'm going to use curl so just copy this command and paste in our code with Tony. I'm going to cd clean and paste this command and hit enter. Okay, now we can verify this if this is installed by saying so. I'm going to scroll down here and you can read more, but I'm going to copy this and say command dash f nvm. Right now, nothing changed, but if I exit from here and let's ssh again and paste again now as you can see we have nvm here and let's now to install node.js we can say just nvm install node is going to so node is an alias for the latest version so i'm going to copy that and paste it in our vps hit enter As you can see, we have node here. So if I say node there dash version, we have the node version 21. And then with the cd the slash var www cd the Laravel. Let's clean and let's say npm install, hit enter. Okay, let's clean and let's say npm run build. Okay, let's clean and let's open now again the code with Tony.dev and refresh. And as we can see, we have the welcome to code with Tony in the code with Tony.dev. So in our server, let's go to register and let's say test test example add the password again the password here and say register and we are logged in in our VPS server as you can see we can go to profile we can 
log out and we can log in again with the test example and add the password. Okay friends, that's it all about this video. I hope you enjoy and if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best and thank you very much.